Welcome back to Stardew Valley, everybody. Thanks for the continued support on this. I'm really glad folks have been so into it. And we're back. Are you excited about Slay the Spire 2? Absolutely. Slay the Spire 2. Noida update. DD2 update. Second DD2 update. We eat. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to be getting out of the fortune teller. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Oh, yes, yeah, the Trout Derby. Oh, baby. Oh, dude, big day to come back to. Hell yeah. Hi, Chubbs. How you been, bud? Good to see you. I'm gonna get my watering can. Welcome back. Take care of my boy. Oh, yeah, we're making bait now, too. That's perfect. How timely. We need this. Also that. That's pretty great. I didn't realize that's what that did. Gold bar, and we got a letter. Bear, I'm gathering data on the correlation between sale alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Oh, sorry, soil alkalinity. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Can do, Demetrius. I don't think I have any melons growing anymore, unfortunately. But I'll go ahead and accept and fail that quest since that's my MO these days anyway. I'm gonna organize all my shit at some point. But today is not that day. It's watering time, that's what time it is. We bear dance when we water the crops. This is this is how we live our lives. In the best possible way. We bear dance as the crops are being watered. It's the best time today, man. Watering the crops in the morning is when I feel the most optimistic about what we could possibly do in any given day of Stardew Valley. The world's our friggin' oyster. Slash patch of parsnips. These hops grow real fast. I gotta get some more of these things going, man. What a nice resource. Although I don't know how much they sell for. It might not be all that much. Yeah, I'm realizing that, Reese, is I gotta keep some stuff on hand instead of just selling everything automatically like I'm prone to. Just in case of quests like that. I think I'll be a little bit better about that. I've asked this question a couple times, too, I'm pretty sure, but no nothing really happens when you walk over your crops, right? Like, there's no reason to, like, build paths or anything like that. I'm assuming I'm not preventing these guys from growing. Stomp away. All right. Terrific. Oh, you walk slightly faster on the pathing. That's right. Which I guess could be nice, but I'm probably not going to sweat it too much. Ooh, we got goodies here, too. A bunch of corn ready. Nice. So yeah, we'll keep the corn. We'll keep one of the hops. Do they go bad? A renewal. Welcome back. Like, if I were to just keep them in the chest, would that be fine? It's a single corn in there, a single hop. Oh, we have hops in there, apparently. There we go. Nerve agent! Thank you for the 16, welcome back in. And Caleb, thank you for the three months as well. Thank you for the bear hugs for him. Welcome back in. Appreciate the support, guys. Thanks for supporting the Stardew. Really appreciate it. This has been a nice... A nice time for me, man. I'm digging it. I do forget that I can just click an, in, an organize button, too. Yeah, there we go. That sorts it out. Cool. It's trout derby time, isn't it? I'm going to empty my inventory just in case I need to. Oh, a melon. That's what Demetrius needed. Yeah, let's bring him a melon. And get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, yeah, the stuff we fished last time. I made a bunch of, or got a bunch of stuff last time. I think it just ran out of time, and that's why I couldn't sell any of it. Uh, sell that, sell that. Uh, don't know what to do with that. I'm just going to sell it. Yeah, sell that. Okay, then we're going to put away our mining stuff. 
Uh, put away my watering can. I'm going to need to make another chest at some point. Sheesh. And then let's go ahead and take this melon to Demetrius. Or just in case we're about to be presented with the trout thing. Let's be ready for that, I guess. Get some more bait on that bad boy. I'm glad we got the iridium rod. Just in time, apparently. One of my favorite mods I downloaded shows the radius of scarecrows when you hover over them and when placing them. I honestly might look into mods, too. Like, there's... Certainly some quality of life stuff that I wouldn't mind, and I feel like I've experienced enough of the vanilla. Well, I mean, we really barely scratched the surface of the vanilla, clearly, but as far as, like, you know, quality of life stuff, I, I feel like I wouldn't mind giving that a perusal just to see if there's anything I wouldn't... that wouldn't necessarily, like, you know, taint the organic experience. What's up, dude? I saw you checking out the bathhouse the other day, trying to get in shape. Trying to, trying to get up in my personal business? What are you watching me for, man? Did it say what time the trial thing was or if I was supposed to go anywhere? I guess I could go check the town events board. I also think I foraged yesterday too, yeah, so they're not likely we're gonna be able to find anything down here. I think it might start at noon or something. Definitely don't want to miss that, though. Joel Derby's open 24-7 south of your farm. Ah, down this way. Okay, cool. Let's go swing by. If that's the case, let's go talk to Demetrius first. We can knock out this quest. We can say hi to Vincent. Dad's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. Same here, buddy. You deserve it. Don't forget to check that farm cave. There's bound to be something useful in there by now. Here, buddy, I got your melon. This is perfect. It's just what I need for my research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. Sweet. Mission accomplished. Bunch of money. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I got my fancy gold shirt on, too. I forgot about that. How long till we get a Vampire Survivor slash Stardew Valley DLC? Yeah, they're, they're just sort of dipping their hands in everything, huh? Might as well. A renewal. Welcome back. Sure there's some crossover potential. You want Stardew and Dredge? Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, this is the perfect environment to introduce something that ridiculous. Shaggy Jackal! Thank you for the Prime! Give him some bear hugs, please. Appreciate the long-term subscription. 76 months. I really hide that damn Prime sub box. I know, yeah. It's like they're actively losing money. I want to discourage people from using it. Speaking of which, make sure you check if you got your Prime sub and we can steal money from Amazon and give it to me! Hooray! All right, so I'm guessing we're just fishing for trout down here, huh? Just like everybody else. Let's do it. Hang out with the hang out with the whole village today. Oh, that was greedy. That was greedy. We're gonna pay off. Ain't nobody else out here fishing for treasure, man. I'm going the the whole nine yards with it. Rainbow trout and a golden tag. Turn this into the trout derby booth for a reward. Oh, shit! Instant payday! Let's go, dude. This is a perfect day, in my opinion. Enjoying the, the, the presence of other humans without being forced to engage with them in any meaningful way. All whilst fishing to my heart's content. Fantastic. Blessings. Perfect. Is 
This is why dads like fishing. Precisely. Because they too, just like any other human, crave the connection of others. But don't ever want to, you know, like, talk about that. Them simultaneously getting a bite is adorable. I like to imagine that they have the ends of their lures tied together. Oh, you sneaky little thing. Who are all these people? Yeah, I don't recognize these two. I think I've seen this guy before. I recognize long hair guy. Everybody else I don't know if we've ever met. Maybe they're just here for the, the trout fishing event. My fishing tackle has worn out. I didn't realize that was a thing that could happen. Okay. Can I can I get a new Oh, I got a tent kit. Cool. Deploy a one-time use tent for sleeping. That's neat. Can I have more stuff? Uh, I need more golden tags. I see. I thought you might sell a lure. Oh, he's a fishing pro. Whoever gets the most tags will have bragging rights for the rest of the year. Of course, some guy shows up wearing the same outfit as me. How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm a little overdressed for the event. Came all the way from Grampleton for this. That That is absolutely a place that you just made up. Oh, I thought this was like scavenge stuff up here. Let's go fish in the middle. Maybe he's got it figured out in there. Look at all these people. Sheesh. Max. I'm running low on time already. And at least one more golden tag, right? Come on now. Pretty sure it's a reference to a Stardew mod. Oh, really? That's great. I don't like that a lot if that's the case. The team is really something for still supporting this game. It's still just the one guy, isn't it? Even all these years later, I don't think that he's like hired anyone. Which is crazy. Yeah, this is one of those, like... I mean, this might be, like, the quintessential solo dev story. One dude whips up the entirety of one of the most beloved indie darlings of the last decade. Decade plus, actually, isn't it? Sheesh. In 20 years, we'll get the Concern Date biopic. Yeah, seriously. I'd watch it, dude. Straight up. Somebody needs to make that documentary. I'd be very interested in that. Assuming he's even, like, you know, assuming it's something he wants to do. This is bigger than Undertale, right? They're comparable. Undertale definitely, like... If, I'd, I'd be curious, actually. If they've, they've had similar impacts. It's not like a runaway case for Stardew. Stardew's probably had a bigger impact, but Undertale's up there. And is also, obviously, also a solo dev. What's even more astounding is if you look at the Steam charts, Stardew has actually steadily increased its average player base over time. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm all out of bait again, too. Stardew has a longer lasting appeal than Undertale, definitely. But I, let's not let's not undersale Undertale <laughs> either, you know. We gotta give we gotta give Toby his flowers.
Yeah, Lucas Pope is another name to consider in that conversation too, for sure. Not nearly as um, like, well, I, I'm gonna use the word successful, but that's purely by like a sales metric. Obviously, as far as quality of game, he's been just as successful. Oberdin and with papers, please. I don't even like puzzle slash mystery games, and I loved Oberdin. Highly recommend playing Oberdin if you never have. Especially if you like that kind of thing. It is top tier. Undertale was insanely unique. I love Stardew, but this is just Harvest Moon. That's fair. No, yeah, like, this is not... Stardew is a game that has been made before. It's just that I feel like this is, like... Let's not call it perfecting, but it's, it's making a damn near perfect version of this game. I feel like that was that is, uh... You know... A hallmark in and of itself. Undertale's just like Mother. Well, no, I wouldn't agree with that. Obviously, it plays very similarly, but I think it's it's a novel enough approach to that genre that it's you know it's 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 I think a fair assessment to call it a pretty unique experience. Hey, there we go. I mean, if they're still fishing, I'm still fishing, dude. I'm going the distance tonight. Your mm -hmm. Fez was made by one guy, is that true? <laughs> I mean, technically, right? I, well, no, I don't know. I don't remember enough about that whole deal. God, Fez, man. That's so weird that Fez is so old now. It's wild to have gone through, like, various eras of indie gaming, that being, like, a pretty early one at this point. I actually finished Fez. Again, strange, given that I'm not really a huge fan of those kinds of games. Um, all right, let's go make sure I get my reward, because apparently I can lose my opportunity to do that. Mystery box. You can keep your fish. What, a, what an appropriate use of this UHF quote. Now, you can keep your fish, or you can go with what's in the box. The box, the box, take the box. I'll take the box. She took the box. What's inside the box? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! All right, one more fish. One more fish. I'll never get tired of that movie, dude. You turn on UHF today, I will happily watch it to its conclusion. One more. One more fish. One more little fishy. They're fishing at midnight. I'm fishing at midnight, brother. It's getting late. They don't care, apparently. These little girls... Way past their bedtime. Who's, who's, whose kids are these? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I can use my tent. You know what? I'm going to do it. This is the last of our energy anyway. Let's sleep under the stars tonight, man. That's a great way to end the Trout Derby. The 
Conan the Librarian. Don't you know the Dewey Decimal System? <laughs> so many just good standalone jokes, right? Like we, we don't need no stinking badgers. There's when he sculpts the mashed potato mountain and he's like, this means something. This is important. All right. Time to pop a tent kit, huh? Oh, that's cool. All righty. Go to sleep for the night. Great day. Gandhi too. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> just, just the idea of Gandhi too. Just that it needs no further explanation. Just that alone is hilarious. Let's go, big fish. That's not even including the stuff we just caught today. Sweet. <laughs> it's still going? Oh, well, shit. Let's go get some bait, I guess. A two-day event, apparently. I don't to keep fishing, man. I'm having a great time. I do need to go water my crops, I guess. A renewal. Welcome back. Forever money! Bear hugs, please, for him. Thanks for the 56. Appreciate you keeping the sub up. Welcome back into the pile. Quick stop at the bake shop. I might as well sell the fish I got to him as well. Fish don't sleep, neither do we. Amen. Ah, oh, he's not open yet, damn. Well, that's a good time to go water the crops, I guess. You can check how long on the calendar now that you've discovered it. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, I'll go take a look. I'm swinging by there anyway. <laughs> you get to drink from the fire hole! God, it's such a good movie. Michael Richards at his peak. All right, the monsters known as ghosts are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. Adventure into the mines and slay three of these beasts. I am not going to, but I will accept the quest. Just to continue to let the entire village down. Alright, one more day, day of the Trout Derby. The Dwarf's Birthday. Okay, maybe I will go to the mines, actually. That's a good enough reason for me to go back over there. I gotta figure out what the hell he wants for a gift. Can't even talk to the guy, but maybe you can communicate through the language of objects. If fish don't sleep, why do mobsters send people to sleep with the fishes? Maybe they're just they're trying they're looking out for the fish's health. They're trying to help them along by showing them how to do it. Mobsters are really just looking out for the ecosystem most of the time. Alright. Bear dance. When we water the crops, we bear dance. This is how we do it. This is how it's always been and always will be. We got a lot of crops today. Let's go. Nom, 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 nom. Such pleasant music, man. Huge. Oh, you good buddy. You like your hat? Yeah, it's your favorite hat in the world. It's a happy boy. Let's be safe. I do very much like my Stardew Valley Chubs. We've been missing our boy a lot lately around here, man. Because we just keep thinking now that it's warming up. How much he, he loves sun naps, man. That was his that was his favorite thing. Any opportunity he got on a sunny day, you'd find him out on the deck chair just lounging. Soaking up the rays. He'd do it out in Vegas in like the summer days too. Like we always trust him to, you know, know when it's time to come inside. And he'd come in just <laughs> panting up a storm like, ah, hi, I really like that sun. Yeah, you do, buddy. Apparently enough to sit out in the 105 degree heat. Sheesh. He's a little cutie. 
about it out here. Not to, I, I, this shouldn't be a downer conversation, I don't, I don't think, but I do want to mention it while I'm thinking about it. It's been very nice for Elise and I to be able to reflect on our time with him. <clears throat> and there's that little voice in your head that is like, ah, you should have spent more time with him. You should have enjoyed him more while you had him, right? But I am so easily able to squash that voice in my mind when I think about it and know full well that we love the hell out of that dog, man. There was very little else that I would have done differently or like would have like chosen to spend more time with. Like we, I spent all the time I could with him. I told him every damn day. He was my favorite buddy in the world and I loved him so much. It was a good life we gave him, man. I, I know I, I, I want the dog to stick around forever too, but if he's gotta go, I'm pretty pleased with the time we got to spend together. It's pretty great. I got to share him with you guys too, which is extra awesome. And Bear Chubbs will go on forever. Speaking of which, YouTube members, I've got some new emotes in there for you, and I want to get the Bear Chubbs in there for you too. I just got to find where the heck I put the file. For some reason, it's not uh, lumped in with all my other Chotokana emotes, so. FYI, I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully going to be able to address that soon as well. A significant lack of Bear Chubbs emote availability in the comments. Gotta get that fixed. I'm running out of trout derby time, man. Here, sheesh. Took the whole damn morning to water our crops. Let's go get some bait. I'm gonna sell some fish, too, so I've got inventory space. There we go. Ah, Wiley, where the hell are you, dude? It's Sunday. Maybe, they, maybe it doesn't operate on Sundays. Well, that sucks. How much inventory space we got? Maybe we got enough. I'm catching mostly trout anyway, right? We've already got those in the inventory. I don't know if I can re-download the image files off Twitch areas. I might be able to. I could certainly grab a low-quality one from somewhere, I'm sure. But I also would prefer to still have the image file on my computer. I just got to find it again. Oh, he's at the Trout Derby, duh. Right, yeah, of course. We were just standing uh, next to him last time. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Where do you think the, the local fisherman is on the biggest fishing day of the year? Yeah, he might be participating, you never know. Right, Aries, yeah, no, that would work. Back up. Not having a shop open during this derby is a pretty bad business decision. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it that way, you'd, you'd, you'd imagine this is more than likely one of his best opportunities of the year to do business, and instead he just lets some other guy set up shop. Just fully encroached on. Not even trying to fight it. Ooh, this fish does not want to get caught. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, you're tricksy. You're tricksy. I'm gonna get you, though. You ain't getting away. Nice. Dorado! Oh, cool. That's a new one. Didn't even need the bait for that. I respect the grind over the income. Yeah, you know, he's got his principles, at least. So yeah, you, can you can definitely respect that. Oh, he might have just hired that guy, too. There you go. Okay, yeah. The Enterprise. You know, he's he's been around the block enough to know he can trust somebody else at the stand while he lives his life. Another golden tag. Nice. So, hold on a second. Did they tag these fish? Do they bring them in pre-tagged and, like, populate the river with these particular trout? Was there a truck full of trout that came in that I didn't see? This is correct. Yeah, this is, okay, interesting. 
That's how it works in the lake. So I thought this was like a river connected to the ocean, though. The train's coming! Oh. Can't do everything. And drop them in from helicopters. A lot more resources than I thought. Shit. Surely you've seen a video of the fish cannon. Oh, you know me well. Yeah. Absolutely, I've seen that. I, I, I like believing that that's how it works here, too. Yeah, no, let's let's go ahead and call that cannon. That <laughs> fish cannon. Fish cannon is cannon. Fish cannon is Nick cannon. Stop it! Oh my god. It must have been another Dorado. Jeez. I'm not picturing fish floating down by parachute into the river. You're, you're giving them a lot more credit for the safety of the fish than they maybe deserve. Fish have got to be pretty damn durable, though, right? I wonder how high of a drop into a body of water a fish could survive. I wonder if they've done a Mythbusters on that. Need a Pond's Pole. There's no fall damage into water, Dog Bear. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Hey, hell yeah, Placebo. I have also been enjoying the return. You can't get faster than terminal velocity. Instantly imagining an entire school of fish plunging into a river at the same time at maximum speed. According to research, one should say that fish remain uninjured from drops in the range of less than 50 feet. Yeah, I fully believe that. Hell, it's hard to kill a fish when you're trying to. <laughs> yeah, you really gotta give it to them, man. I've, I was uh, fishing recently with uh, a couple friends of ours, and uh, they they tried to, you know, like, do it in after a catch, and it was not going good. <laughs> that thing did not want to go. Freaking durable, dude. Yeah, go for it, Drake. Gold tag. Use. Oh, oh. oh, come on. Can't read chat while I'm doing this. There we go. That's because you guys are trying to drown it. Yeah, true. That wasn't a good. That wasn't a good approach. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get rid of that, I guess. And I do want a chub. Gotta get a chub. I have some river jelly. Can I just eat this. I just throw it out and then eat it. I threw it in the river. Can I, can I fish it out? Can I fish the jelly out of the river? No? That's just sitting there now. Well, that's a shame. I should probably eat something, though. Hold on. Right there. There we go. Oh, I got my jelly bag. Cool. This was just floating. Okay. A little more fishing. A little more fishing. And then we'll hit the mines tomorrow. Then we got a whole damn plan going here, huh? For the next couple days. I also should look into the next level of upgrades for my equipment because I have a decent amount of money here. I imagine there's probably some new material I haven't found yet. Well, I happen to know there's at least something beyond this, mostly because I've been tuning into Justin and Apollo every now and then with their Stardew Farms, which are much further along than mine. Here's that jelly.
It's so calm. And you're about to fall asleep here, man. Sheesh. All right, let's call it, let's say like one more catch tonight. And then I'm going to go spend some time sorting out my inventory, make it, maybe whip up another chest and get a little better organized. I feel like I got a lot of garbage that I don't actually have a lot of use for right now. Oh, love Justin. Big fan of the boy. It's the world's most handsome boy. I believe is the name of the LLC that he operates under. For tax purposes. Which, if you can't respect a man for that, I don't know what you can respect him for. I did say one more, didn't I? All right. Good enough. We'll turn in our tag. Call it a day at the Trout Derby. That was fun, though. A diamond? Wow! I have a full inventory, though. But enough for that, apparently. All right, cool. That's a successful derby in my in my mind. That means you're married now. Ah, oh, man, I married the trout derby guy. I'm only going to see him, like, once a year. Well, that'll be a tough adjustment. sell some stuff. So we're saving one of each food. I'm going to go ahead and make another chest now. That way we can organize this inventory a little better here. My god. Um, <laughs> crap. I'll just put the wood on the ground for now, I guess. And then you go here. And I'm going to color this chest green so that I know that it's for food. I'm going to put one of these in there, one of these in there, one of these in there. And then a melon, a grape just in case. I'm going to check to see if I have any other food in these. I'll put the forage stuff in there as well, I guess. That seems like a decent idea. And then one corn. I need a second squash. We can sell that. We can sell that. Put the mushrooms in there. Just keep all the mushrooms in there, I guess. Oh, I can put bait on my rod as well. Can I not? I could have sworn I could. Oh, I think I need a lure for that, don't I? Okay. And then, what else do we want to do? Probably have more food in here, I imagine. Do we not? Oh, that's surprising. Doesn't really look like it. Okay, we have another geode, though. So we get this thing in there. We're going to crack those tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and sell my chubs here. And I guess that's okay for now. There's sap I could put away, too. I got some iron ore I could stack up there, and then... That'll do. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe keeping some fish as well. I might do that. There's the sap. Um, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep some fish, too, I guess. Save this. Or, hold on. Let's save a uh, default quality of that guy. Sunfish, a bream. We'll keep one chub still, I guess. I was going to do that anyway. And then get rid of the rest. I'm curious what this mystery box is going to have. That's pretty good. Okay. Mm. Yeah, there's the that's the one uh, crossover element between the two games I played today. Right, is inventory management. All right, I'll go ahead and refill this tonight anyway. There we go. Thank you, bud. 
Stinky boy. Okay. Good day. Ooh, quality sprinkler. Let's see how to make that. I bet that'll be nice. Good haul from the fishing today. Couple extra G's. Let's go. And a bright sunny day. I'll put this back in the top row. There we go. Bear dance time. Oh, I need another scarecrow. Clearly. I'm getting into these crops here. Alright, hold on. I need some wood, coal, and fiber again. We got a coal? Nah, we're good. Get away from my stuff. These are my crops. There we go. Look how quick these hops grow, man. Goodness. That is nice. Okay. Let's take a look at the crafting menu here and see what we need to whip up a quality sprinkler. It's going to be an iron bar, a gold bar, and a refined quartz. I had no idea you could refine quartz. Okay. Do I have any quartz? I don't think I do. I think I sold it all. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. All right, I guess we're going mining again. That's fine, though. Don't forget to feed the boy. There you go, bud. <laughs> you can refine anything with nipples, yeah. That's good. Oh, I gotta get rid of this thing, don't we? Hold on. I'm worried if I side this, though, it's gonna get rid of the other crops. Let's not, not bother with that yet. Yeah, I was gonna go to the mines today anyway, so I guess that works out. Just gotta prioritize the quartz now. I really like having the bait machine at home now. That's pretty nice for future fishing. Right, yeah, the dwarf's birthday. If I were a dwarf, what would I want? I want an ancient fruit. I'm going to give the dwarf an ancient fruit for his birthday. There's there's no convincing me otherwise. That has got to be the best possible option. I'm absolutely going to do that. Still not really sure what else to do with it anyway, so I might as well do that. Do, do, do. Rock and stone, right? Yeah, man, that reminds me I gotta play some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, too. That game's still a good time. Okay, well, here we go. Got a little more water left. I don't think I have enough of this, though, yeah. Gotta use it for the community center if you haven't already. I have fully neglected the community center, yeah. I suppose I could go check in on but I've also not really been super keen on it. I described it last time. Everything else in this game feels pretty fun. The community center just kind of feels like a chore. Like just a big list of, hey, get all this shit. I understand there's like some good rewards behind it too, but just gameplay-wise, it's just not super appealing to me. All right. Get the inventory sorted again here. Let's uh, make sure I've got the food in the same spot, ideally. Basically a scavenger hunt, yeah, which, you know, it's fine. I'm just not super excited about it. Oh, I thought I got eight ancient fruit for a second there. I was shocked. Incentivizes you to do certain things. Sure, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I guess we're doing well in inventory anyway. I wonder what to do with the mystery box. Oh, I could give the mystery box to the dwarf. Oh, the blacksmith has to open this for me. Okay, I didn't realize that. We'll swing by the blacksmith to get these things too. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell this other food. Eh. Get rid of that too. You could skip the community center and join Morris in the Joja corporate route. Is it one or the other? <laughs> you either love the entire community or you're a corporate shill. 
Choose your side, bear. Check the nose board again real quick here. Nothing new, right? Yep. Worst birthday. Let's go have a chat. Let's swing by the blacksmith first while we're down here. Hey, buddy. Gardening's a hobby of mine, so I'm excited for this warm weather. He's got a nice little plot there. Process some geodes for me, pal. Let's see what this mystery box has got. Tom Ka Soup. Is that a Tom Ska reference? Warp Totem Mountains. Warp directly to the mountains. Huh. That's cool. Deluxe Speed Grow. Nice. Oh, Tom Ka is a Thai soup. Okay, I'm just... Ignorant. Se seemed sort of likely, though. Seems like the kind of person that might, be, might get referenced in this game. Oh, well, that was fun. Stimulates leaf production, guaranteed to increase growth rate by at least 25%. <laughs> ASDF soup, yeah, exactly. I kind of just want to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm just, I'm just curious to use it. Oh. All right. Save some time, I guess. Off we go. Hey, Mr. Dwarf. I brought you some fruit. Oh, who's now? Who's now? Is it pretty nice of you? Hmm, it's not nice of That's what I was thinking. You're not on this. You can tell me to listen to you. This is not on the time I like that. You don't put that on it. See. All right, let's go get some quartz, I guess. Which might be just in the beginning floors, actually. Although we do want to fight ghosts, too. Maybe we should go a little deeper. Let's go to, like, floor... 70. Yeah, seems good. I don't know where the ghosts are, but... Try this out. Have a much easier time taking these guys down now. Diamonds? Diamonds! Hot damn! Already a big payday for this, dude. I guess I could use more iron ore, too. Man, this weapon is way better now. Probably should have brought some more food down here with me. I do have a grape, at least, but... I'm going to run low on energy pretty soon. Lots of iron in here. Nice. Oh, there we go. It's convenient. Fire quartz gives you three per smelt. Ooh, what what are the uh, fire levels again? I might just take you up on that, actually. Ooh, a couple cave carrots, nice. 80 plus, okay. Yeah, I might, I might go for that. I think we just end up going that deep already anyway. Let's find out. Yeah, I'm looking for those. I thought it said ghosts was the reward. Are those the same thing? Ghost slash wizard? Oh, there's a quartz. Nice. There's two of them, actually. Hooray! A frozen tear. Cool. They're in the 40s and 50s. Okay. So I can look for them. I might even, you know what, hold on, let's just... Because I'm pretty sure this is the last day to do this. Let's just go ahead and look there for those right now. I could 
probably find quartz in here too. Speaking of which. Sweet. Ooh, hello. Oh, that's copper. I thought that was the fire stuff for some reason. Couple of nets. A ladder, nice. It's always good to have additional iron ore, I guess. Doesn't hurt. God, it is really nice to just beat the crap out of these things now. No longer a struggle. get some revenge. Which apparently I do. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Rawr. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Hardly even felt it. What a menace. Alright, still plenty of time. Oh, a dwarf scroll. Nice. I'm not really sure what's going on with those. Right, I'm going to try to be a little more focused here, I guess. What you got? There they are. Oop, oh, shit. There we go. Bats, oh my god. Oh, that was satisfying. so far, as far as I can tell. That's a shame. Still plenty of time left in the night, I guess. A frozen Geo, too. Can't forget I can just sell a handful of stone at any point if I want to make a pretty penny off that, too. I feel like we got a truckload of that left over. always a possibility in here, I guess. It's not even... Is it a guarantee that the... that there will be a ladder beneath a rock? Or can it sometimes be like none of these rocks present a ladder and you have to d defeat an enemy to get down? It is a guarantee we're just not finding it. This is crazy. Holy shit, that's wild. Alright. There will be one under one rock at least. Okay, yeah. Really bad luck there, I guess. Oh, chance is lower with monsters. Okay. That makes more sense. Or like while monsters are present still. Which I guess means the same thing. A couple topaz, nice. Fortunate then I guess those last couple of levels. What was drawing me to the mine so much? I definitely had a pretty heavy focus on it. I mean clearly having cleared the entire thing before the end of summer in the first year, but I think it really is just as simple as number go up, make happy bear. Ooh, carrots. There we go. It was very satisfying to go deeper and deeper. Yep. Old school chill Zelda combat. Yeah, I really don't mind the combat so much in this game either. It's pretty fun. Surprisingly, like, uh... 
requires more uh, skill, I guess, than I anticipated. Because you have a lot more control over it than, than I thought you would. I think it's just the right amount, too. I think the the combat would... Like, it's, it's not necessarily... It, or, rather, it's not necessary for the combat in this game to be any more complex than it is. Is what I'm trying to say, I guess. It's just right. Bear Chef. And this coming, of course, from somebody who only uses one of the two attacks anyway. A single damn ghost, have we? That's a shame. Got a coffee bean. That's fun. Every monster kill has a flat 15% chance of spawning a ladder. If no enemies remain, then 4% is added to the chance for spawning from a rock. Okay. Every rock hit has a 2% base chance. Oh, so it's never just like a predetermined place. It's just every rock just rolls the dice. That's an interesting system. Okay. And then clearly there's also just a chance for a ladder to just spawn in any given stage. You know what? It's midnight. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and take this as a sign to get out of here. Didn't get the ghost, but gave the dwarf his present. It's ultimately way more important, right? I mean, I'd, I'd planned on disappointing that guy anyway. The moment that I grabbed that quest, <laughs> I think I even said aloud, like, well, this probably isn't going to happen, but might as well. Gotcha, Deemer. Okay. We're just sitting on a bunch of cash right now, or at least a bunch of cash based on my experience so far. We'll find a way to use it soon. Got a couple diamonds out of that. Yeah, it was a good mines run. Even without the uh, checkbox on the quest. Got some shit to sell for sure. Keep the coal, keep the ore, sell the tears, we'll refine the quartz. We can grow a coffee plant. Place five beans in a keg to make coffee. I want to make a coffee plant. I don't know if I have enough time in the summer left, but I'm certainly going to try. Oh, let's use the uh, speed grow first. And then do that. And then water it. Cool. And then we do... Oh, I should donate the alamite, apparently. Nice. Never forget the alamite. Okay, so I've already turned in this scroll, which means I guess I can just sell it now. Let's refine the quartz. Like this. Cool. I like it. And then hopefully we have enough room in here. Oh, wait, no, this isn't where we have this stuff. I know it is. There we go. Sap, and we'll keep those. Keep that to eat it. Put that away, put that away. Don't eat the alamite. These flavors are incredible. Wow, that's a really good soup. Okay, okay. We good? Oh, shit. No! <laughs> God damn it. It was right when I realized. Wah, wah. Ooh! Presents! Santa is real, you guys! He's just blue and he flies a, a biplane. Mystery boxes can be found. Wow, and I'm gonna get mugged again. Yeah, I got way too much money on me not to get mugged here, huh? Oh, cool, we can transmute gold. You made three grand, but somebody lifted it off you and right in front of your house. Poor sap. All right. 
I'll go ahead and check the TV real quick. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome. The spirits are very happy today. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Cool. Looks like a storm approaching tomorrow. Okay, okay. Later on, Cody. Hey, let's go. We got the refined quartz. Okay. Let's see how much they took from me. I've billed you a thousand gold to cover for your medical expenses, Dr. Harvey. All right. That's fair. Right, we needed the refined... Uh, what was it? The refined quartz, the gold, and the silver, I want to say, for a single quality sprinkler? Gold and iron. Okay. Let's go ahead and refine some more quartz real quick. Grab these out of here. Still cheaper than in America, right? That's a deal, dude. And then we get the refined things, which are in here, I want to say, which I should probably go ahead and move these into the same thing, just for simplicity. I'm going to go ahead and color this metal-colored, kind of, even though that's not all of what's in here. And grab these, grab these, have a refined quartz, and we get to make ourselves one quality sprinkler. Cool. It's fun. So now we need to probably go ahead and just like pickaxe this thing, I'm guessing. And replace it with this. Neat. Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize I got all these blueberries today. Yum, 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 yum. Got some corn too, nice. Well, that's satisfying. Hooray! That's so many bloobs. Got the hops growing. Alright. Put a couple of blueberries away. Just sell the rest. Can I borrow some blueberries? I want to make a pie. Only if you make enough for the class. If so, absolutely. Alright, let's head over to Gunther. Right after I water all my crops. The old fashioned way. Also, I want to side this. Also, it's time to bear dance. Buddy. Buddy, you know you're not supposed to walk in the crops. What are you doing? You little goof. running right through the old ant farm. You are making a mess, bud. I put the coffee right here, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. Keep an eye on that. It does have the speed grow, so hopefully it's going to be able to finish before the summer's up. I gotta do more hopping like this. My life is improved the more I hop with the watering can. Oh, that's good. Let's make up another quality sprinkler real quick. Hell yeah. Get this guy out of here. Very excited to see how these perform. Let me fill my can real quick. Crazy to me just how much is packed into this game. Yeah, I really just feel like I'm scratching the surface with it still. I mean, clearly the farm that we've got is hardly even close to the capacity of what you can do. I've seen some pretty wild late game builds, man. Like, this game gets just as complicated as you want it to be. All the different things you can manage. Or really even... Like, it's like one of five or six parts of just the farm that you could regularly be participating in that we're currently doing. Uh, let's make some more quartz, I guess. Might as well. Finally starting to actually organize stuff, too, a little bit anyway. Okay. 
Let's put our metal away for now. And we'll take our geodes over to Gunther. And then you're going to take that. And I think that's it. Save that in there for now. Save that as well. Keep my grape just in case. And my river jelly. All right, there we go. Good enough. Let's hit it. Oh, I need a new lure. That's right. I'm going to swing by Willie's too. And I can equip that bait finally. Don't oh, you know this? George is always a little less grumpy in the summer. The warm weather softens his bones. Something, something, bone softening. Wanted! Slime hunter to slay four red slimes in the deep lava caverns of the local mine. I did want to go get some more fire quartz anyway, I guess, so let's go ahead and fail that quest too. Oh, you know what we can use the seed or the uh, money on eventually is some fall time seeds. Maybe we save it for Pierre's. We can get a nice big fall farm going. Pusher, pusher, shover. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Push her into the river. It would be so funny. Please do it. Just, just fine. Zero out of ten. Can't even push her into the river. New reward. I win! I won Stardew! I got the large futon bear! Yes! I don't need to do anything anymore. The game's over. I win. We can place this decoration down. It's a GG. Oh, man. Oh, hold on. I gotta crack these geos too. <laughs> Before I leave this place, push him. Push him in the river. Shove him. Do it. Sometimes you gotta fall prey to the intrusive thought. Just like they would. Literally. Ghost crystal. That sounds made up. Florapatite. Yeah, speaking of which. <laughs> what the fuck is... Nine out, of Nine out of ten dentists recommend fluorapatite for your daily dental health. There you go, buddy. This looks like it goes there. Cool. Making progress. place our new bear decoration and then the world's our oyster I guess man not really sure what to do at that point pardon me what haven't I done a lot of I guess I could go check into the community center give it a once over and see if there's maybe some boxes I can check there Else haven't I done a lot of? Done plenty of fishing, done plenty of mining, we know that. I don't really need these leather boots anymore, do I? I'm just gonna get rid of these. Probably the same with these. I don't know if there's really a reason to hang on to them. Whoops. There we go. Bye bye. Bear futon. Oh my god. It's it's perfect. Can I rotate it? Is there a rotate button? Q and E maybe? No? This is a big old futon bear. It sure is. 
right mouse button I think rotates. I'm clicking it, and it doesn't seem to want to do it. I guess this is the only direction that can go. The fact that I can't sit in it is upsetting. That's pretty good, though. I'm just going to pretend it's facing the TV, and that's how I'll always watch it. All right. Good enough. Jeez, what the heck do I do now, man? Hmm. I'm gonna clear up the farmland in a bit. Seems like a worthwhile use of my time. What's in this cave again? Yeah, let's immediately get distracted. Hang on. Oh! Oh, yeah! They talked about this a while ago. How they got the, the foraging available in here now. And then also, whatever this is. Which I can't interact with. Okay. That's cool, though. That's some mushrooms and stuff. That's a dehydrator. Oh, okay. I should take a look at uh, what I might be able to possibly craft now as well. I haven't really checked in on that in a minute either. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this away. Get the common mushrooms. Keep all those guys in here. The sap and the other thing. Oh, right. I was going to go buy a lure, too. Yeah, I guess I could go do that. Sap away. I think I have some of these guys in here somewhere, too. Yeah, there we go. Fluorapatite. It's a phosphate mineral. I guess I believe you now. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with this either. I'm assuming you could probably fix it at some point. Okay, let's go check in on the community center and see if there's anything I can do there. Or anything... appealing... to pursue. Oh my god, it's already almost... day over here, I didn't even realize. I just kind of wandered around the whole time. Which is not a bad way to spend the day. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go left to right here to see if we can find anything. I'm gonna knock out. God, there's so much. It's crazy. Alright, spiceberry, grape, and a sweet pea. We do actually have one of these, so might as well do that. You probably find those easy enough. Exotic foraging bundle. Ah, we need the resins. Oh, and a moral too. Actually, we have several of these already. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the winter foraging bundle. Apparently, already did that one. We need wood, stone, and hardwood. Okay. And then mushroom, plum, hazelnut, and a blackberry. That's the fall foraging. Okay. Okay. So I guess I should prioritize bringing a spice berry and a sweet pea. And then we want to make, I guess, the materials necessary to harvest the syrup, the resin, and the tar. But the foraging stuff we can bring back in here before summer ends, hopefully. Uh, the spring crops. I've got the summer crops here. Tomato, hot pepper, a blueberry, and a melon. Okay. So I better try to do that before... The year ends as well. A gold, five gold corns and five gold melons and five gold parsnips. That's going to be rough. Oh, the animal bundle, right? Animals are a thing, too. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. And we'll get that going eventually. Ah, fishing. Okay. Oh, and crab pot, right. Yeah, that's another thing I haven't really messed with all that much. Specialty fish. Ocean fish. Okay, okay. And then is that all? Well, it's not as much as I expected. I thought there was a lot more than that for some reason. All right, so top priorities then, I suppose. We can bring that construction stuff. I don't think I have a lot of hardwood, but maybe I can find some if I clear up the uh, farm a little bit more. <clears throat> and then if we bring... We got to get tomatoes growing, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time in the summer. 
to grow tomatoes. I also think Pierre's is closed already, unfortunately. But maybe with the speed grow, we'd be able to grow it fast enough before we run out of time. I gotta grow some more parsnips, too, I guess, so we can maybe get some gold ones. Yeah, I just wrapped up. Damn. That's unfortunate. What the hell is this? Have I been here yet? Altar of Yoba. Huh, that's weird. Who are we dating? Ourselves. Sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure to stop by every so often. Make sure you get out of my damn way, Pierre. How about that? Excuse me. All right, well, not the most eventful day, but might still be able to get some hardwood out of the farmland here and then. Maybe we'll knock out the construction thing from the community center tomorrow. Go buy some tomato seeds from Pierre's. Start focusing a little bit more on that, I guess. And we might as well whip up some more quartz. Oh, iridium ore. Right, yeah. I guess that's the next level of thing. Where the heck did I get this from? It must have been the mines. Well, that's cool. Okay, I guess that's the thing we should go for next. I wonder if the blacksmith has those upgrades available yet. Oh, right, yeah, the skull key, too. That's a whole thing. Pam wants a pale ale. The mayor's looking for their shorts. Robin lost their axe. We need to build a coop still as well. Stanley Coop Brick. Oh, fun! We found a mystery box in a tree. That's neat. Sheesh, might just get the wood from clearing out the, uh, farmland here. Do you remember we needed to clear the bigger stumps, I believe, in order to get hardwood? Oh yeah, we have this thing too. Nice. Pine tar. How did I do this again? Wasn't this something I crafted where we can extract stuff from the trees? Ta ah, tapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need copper bars. Hold on. Let me make a couple more of these, and that way we can get the other stuff we need for the community center that way. We got a bunch of copper bars. No, we don't. We have very few copper bars. What the hell? How do I make a furnace again? I need more copper. Shit. Well, that sucks. I guess I'm going back to the mines tomorrow. Shit, yeah, we need to find some more copper. Okay. Can I make one tapper at least? Nope, need two. Crap. All right. New objective, I guess. Well, we can make another one now. Hold on. Might as well do that. Oops. Don't do that. And then in you go. Oh, right, yeah, the coal. Thank you. When you mouse over an item in your inventory, the top right separate box thing jiggles if that item can be donated to the community center. Oh, I didn't notice that until now. Yeah, and you can look at it from here. Oh my God, that's so much better. Someone must have told me that already and I just forgot. Oh man, that's okay. That's, that's a lot less problematic now. I thought you had to go back to the community center every time for some reason to check on whether or not you could get it. Or it was something that you needed. And yeah, the fact that you can just hover over it and it'll tell you. Oh man, yeah, that's nice. Apparently the winter route is one too. Cool. Okay. That's very good to know. Um, let's see. Put the stone away in there for now. Keep the wood in there as well. Still just mostly want to try to find hardwood, I guess. Oh. 
Oh, I haven't leveled up my axe to an iron axe yet. I should do that. I'm going to do that eventually anyway. Let's take our axe to the, um, to the blacksmith tomorrow along with the mystery box here. But I think we can get these ones with the bronze axe, right? Or the bronze axe, right? Yeah, okay. So it's not all of them. So let's go ahead and use it as much as we can here. Late into the night. Grab as much hardwood as possible. Which I don't remember how much hardwood we needed, but we can check. We can check now. And that was going to be... Not the pantry, the crafts room, right? Yeah, the construction bundle only needs 10. Oh, well. That's easy enough. I think we already have it, in fact. Let's just make sure, though. I thought I had to get a lot more than that for some reason. Cool. All right, well, there's that mission accomplished, I guess. I might as well get some more, too. Definitely feels like a resource we're going to need more of eventually. What is that? What is this? It looks like there's something on there. Is there a little bug in there? I think there's a bug on this thing. Okay, anyway. Oh, it's worms. Oh, fun. Oh, doesn't that mean that, like, if we use the hoe on that, doesn't something happen? I should grab that real quick. I'll also probably just keep my hoe in the inventory. Wherever it went. There you are. Oh, let's make the tapper real fast as well. Where's my other copper bar? There we go. Ah, crap. There we go. Craft a tapper. Oh, I need wood, that's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sweet. And then put this away. Boom, boom. We'll get this stuff. Grab it for the, uh, oh, cool, mahogany seed. That's neat. I'll plant that right there. McLaffy Taffy! Raiders, welcome! Oh my god, sorry. That was way too long. Welcome, everybody! McLaffy Taffy Ray, thanks for joining us. We're near the, near the uh, tail end of our star doing today. But glad to have you. I'm guessing he was playing some more backpack battles today. And I'm guessing I need to probably go ahead and get to bed before I collapse in front of my front door again. There we go. Oh, some more of the show. You still been digging that? I had my stint with the show for a bit. Lost its luster after a little while. It was a good time, though. Thanks for the raid, dude. Appreciate it. Damn, those blueberries are pretty good. 55 apiece. That's a lot more than I thought we'd get for that. I guess they did take a long time to grow. It's a nice payoff, though. It's the only sports game that Chad will watch me play because it's more RPG than sports game. You're not wrong. The spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. Don't. Get out of here. Go away. Uh, I think that's all of them. Welcome back. As moral. Bear hugs, please. Thank you very much for the 25 months. I'm going to start giving my monthly highlights with each sub this month. Bears Bellatro Ball. Hell yeah. Speaking of which, shout out to McLaffy Taffy. Appreciate you gaming with us last week, man. Hopefully have you on another one soon. Yeah. Thanks for the raid, dude. Take it easy. I always love a rainstorm. 
Although, unfortunately, that does mean I'm not able to see how these new sprinklers work, but... That's eh, all right. Okay. Number one today, go buy a new lure. Number two, drop by the blacksmith for the mystery box and for the geodes that we have, which I need to grab those out of my box as well, I want to say. And then number three, we go grab a bunch of copper. Because we clearly need some more of that. And then number four is we're going to go drop off the construction stuff at the community center. And then number five is upgrade the axe. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We got lure, drop off, upgrade axe, community center, and I already forgot the fifth thing. Okay, cool. Perfect. Typical Stardew experience. Doo -doo. Oh, the geodes, right. Thank you. Where did those go? Did I have any? That might have been it. I'm not seeing any. Okay. Okay. I got the axe ready. Oh, I need my iron. Damn it. I, knew I was going to forget something on the way out. Copper. That's the fifth thing. Gotta hit the mines for some copper. That's right. Okay. Now I think I remember it all. Which guarantees that I'll forget something. We can also grab this for the community center. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. How convenient. Thank you, Vaughn. <laughs> absolutely gonna have to refer to that. Oh, blacksmith's not open yet either. Running low on flounder if someone could bring me one. We can try, certainly. It's Willie's birthday. Let's bring Willie a fish. I bet he'll appreciate that. I bet he's never seen a fish before. Really open his eyes up to a whole new world. I guess I could have gone community center here, but they, I think they open at nine, don't they? The blacksmith in the museum. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate at the museum. Oh, apparently I don't. Could have sworn I did. Just the mystery box, right? Sick. More deluxe speed grow, and then let's upgrade to a steel axe. I can make a gold pickaxe too. Cool. Nice. Okay. Referring back to my thing. Pop the geode. Go buy a lure. And then we swing by the community center. Okay. Can do. Can do. Maybe we'll find one of those other foraging things along the way. Oh, and then a sixth thing is we need to go to Pierre's and buy parsnips and tomatoes and then plant those things where... Or plant them with the uh, speed grow that we just got so that we can finish growing them before the end of summer. So six things today. Three of which we've already done? At least two of which we've already done. Streamer tries to remember six separate tasks. Challenge level impossible. he's even here today. I'm just starting to wonder if he just works whenever he feels like it. Um, What would you want? Do you want this, Willie? Is this a good gift? A sea urchin? Is that something you would want? He wants me to sell it to him. I don't think he wants to receive it as a gift. How about some wood? I don't know if I can give him a gift. Oh, there we go. Here, have a gift. Oh, it's for my birthday? Thanks. Yeah, I didn't think you'd like that very much. Here, let's try something else. How about, uh, Sweet Pea? You've already given Willie a gift. Well, that was a fumble. All right. I tried. Got you something, at least. 
Got to get a new lure. We need... Uh, treasure hunter. Fish don't escape while collecting treasures. Also slightly increases the chance to find treasures. Cool. That seems good. Let's do that. And then that is going to be on... We have to change this to here. And then... That needs to go... Wait, how do I do this? Go like this, right? There we go. And then do that. And then I'm just going to sell this stuff to Willy. There you go, buddy. There's clams in there. Nice. And now it's time for the community center, I think. A renewal. Welcome back. Do, 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 do. And to Christy. Thank you for the resub. Twitch will catch it eventually, I assume. Welcome back into the pile. Give him some bear hugs, please. Appreciate it. Off to the community community center. Where we shall drop off our construction materials. Thanks a bunch for the resub. Welcome back. We're doing stuff, dude. Getting stuff done. Construction bundle, where are you at? Down this way? Let's go. Bundle complete. Hooray. Got a reward? Charcoal kiln. Turn 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. That's nice. Okay, go ahead and toss that into here. Just looking for a spice berry now. You don't need a second one, right? Yeah, okay. I think that's done. Unlocked a new one. Okay. Let's take a look at that. They are very cute. It's a pretty good reason to go in here by itself, I guess. So far, so good. Murph, getting a lot done today. Had a pretty nice time with the trout derby earlier. Copper, iron, and gold bar. That's easy enough. Slime, bat wings, solar essence, and avoid essence. We might just have that stuff. Oh, man. Even more reason to go to the mines, dude. Let's go. Back in it. We just come out with everything we need for the community center in one go, maybe. I'm all about it. Although, I think we did need a lot of slime gel or whatever it's called. But I am up to the task. Got a couple of jellies with us, too, so we'll be good to go on energy. Alright, let's do it. Hopefully I can find one of those berries out here too. Let's go to like floor 60. See how that goes. Well, then again, hold on, we needed... We need more copper primarily, so I think if we go earlier on, it's going to be better. And we already, I believe, have our... Other bars constructed, so yeah, this is probably best. Get a lot of copper out of this. Back to the mines, hell yeah. How's my bear impression? Pretty spot on. No notes. The more slime, the better. I don't think we need any particular kind of slime, do we, to be able to get what we need out of it either, so that's nice. Iron and gold for sprinklers, true. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess while we're going for the copper, it's probably best to be in the earlier areas, but we might want to get a little lower after we've gotten enough of that. A couple aqua 
Marines, nice. A little standstone, a little earth crystal. I don't mind it. Come here, buddy. Sorry to say, you gotta go. Ooh, I don't mind a cherry bomb either. In fact, let's go ahead and pop that sucker right here. Sweet. Get out of here. Give me that delicious bug meat. Copper. How much we got right now? I say if we get up to like 30. Was it the ore or was it the um Oh, that's fun. What the hell? Gunther can tell you more about this. Man, Elise must have been screaming with joy when she saw that. Big deal, apparently. The prismatic shard. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little streamer luck every now and then, for sure. So that checks out. It's so fun to me to play games like this and have those experiences of like, oh, this is cool. And chat immediately like, what the fuck? How? <laughs> Rarest item in the game, really? Oh my god, that's crazy. It looks pretty cool. Level 24. Yeah, this is very early in the mines. I mean, I wonder if it's impacted by the fact that we've already gone to the lower levels. Which is like pure random chance. Oops. Thanks for the crab, buddy. Yeah, dark, dude. Shit. Pure random luck. That's funny. It might be a higher chance if you finish the mines. That would make sense. And yeah, we have already gone all the way down, so... Maybe bumped up our odds. I really thought that was the second one, dude. <laughs> I really thought for a sec we just got a second shard. Ooh, this is fun. I think this is Jade. Emerald. The other green one. There we go. We got a lot of slimes either in here, unfortunately. Should certainly be an easy way to farm them, given the earlier stage ones. There we go. Was bug meat even one of the community center things? No. Okay. If you did, I might as well quit gaming. I, mean, I don't know what it says about me that that incentivizes me heavily to try to get one. I don't even know you. I don't want you to quit gaming. But there's just some part of me that says, you gotta do it now! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get out. Get out. we got now? 23. Eh, let's keep going. The do it you won't of Stardew, yeah. <laughs> Coward. Bet this guy won't spend the next three days farming for prismatic shards. Bitch, you think I won't? There's gotta be something going on with the minecarts eventually. 
And the one in the beginning, for God's sake, that we still haven't even utilized. Whoop. Here's some more copper. This is real damn pleasant, man. It's got that Minecraft vibe where, like, the music isn't always playing, but when it is, it's just perfect. No need for further bug meat. Oh, it can be turned into fish bait, apparently. Oh, that's good. We still have a lot of it already, though. Oh, I came from this way. What am I doing? Turn off my song. I liked the song. I just sung the song's praises. Yeah. I just gotta kill these bugs. Chance they spawn the ladder. go 29 floor 29 here we'll go one more level well, it's probably time to get out of here mm -hmm. yeah it's getting late i know buddy i'm getting a few slimes out of this right decent amount there's another ladder good to go Yeah, it's a good enough day for me. Let's not collapse in the bottom here. And a bail. Trudge home through the rain. I think I determined... What the heck? Oh, right, yeah, that's a little ledge there. I think I determined that this is about the time you can make it back home safely. 12 20 12 30 ish i might have also misses or or uh yeah i might have misread that because i think i might be collapsing again here ah getting way too bear greedy dude uh-oh run run home i can't run into walls there's precious frames here just sprint to the bed So close, buddy. Let's go. Saved. Thank goodness. All right. That'll do. That'll do. Good times in Stardew, man. Looking forward to day 25. Nearing the end of summer. We did forget to swing by Pierre's, but that's all right. We can do that next time. Awesome. All right. Lots to do in the morning. Lots to sort out. Looking forward to that. Thanks for watching another episode of Stardew Valley, y'all. Especially over on YouTube, which if you're watching over there, likes on these videos are enormously beneficial. Showing the love for the Stardew Valley series over on YouTube. I see y'all in the comments. Thank you very much for, for continuing to support my algorithmic pursuits. We'll play some more Stardew. I'm, uh, it's going to be infrequent. Certainly not a daily thing, but we'll, we'll definitely get back to this every now and then, so glad y'all have been digging it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.